Hello, I'm going to show you real quick how I'm going to make a rig for flounder fishing today. Just very quickly, I'm using a 40 pound shot leader. I'm going to be making a one down, two up Pat Noster flapper style rig. 40 pound shot leader, four arm span, and then I'm going to take a fair bit, probably another four foot on top. Snip that off. Then attach the Gemini lead link straight to the bottom. Do a half blood knot. It's very simple stuff, about six turns. And pull that down nice and tight. Snip it, leave a decent sized tag end on there. This is a very long rig. The idea behind it is to space it out and cover a lot more ground. Cut this at a 45 degree angle just to get a nice point on there. This time I'm going to be using coil crimson. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. So we pop on a micro bead, small swivel. Another micro bead. Slide that down. Get another micro bead on there. It's a bit fiddly at times, but it's probably cut out a point just to get the line sliding onto the micro beads. Another small swivel, another micro bead, and then we put another micro bead. Another small swivel, and to finish off, another micro bead. Slide that out of your way. Use a decent sized swivel. So we're not power casting or anything. So it's the reason we're using 40 pound line. We're only going to be casting very close, maximum probably about 60 odd yards. This is a rig what I quite often use for match fishing, scratching and stuff. But for this, I'm going to be using it for flounder fishing. What you're using instead of the standard crimps is some little coil crimps. Right about now, there's going to be a picture. And whilst using these, all you have to do is no crimping and folds, no like using pliers, and there's no damaging of the line. These are just simple coils it's like a stainless steel thing what you just wrap onto the line and it keeps everything in place they don't slide down and they don't damage the line which is absolutely brilliant for sea fishing and they're reusable they're stainless steel so you get busted up rigs like we all do at times you can just take these back off your old rigs and reuse them When I'm making these style of rigs, I tend to leave just a little bit of a gap, not a lot of a gap, just a tiny bit of a gap. So this swivel rotates freely. That's the bottom of the rig. Slide that down. And then we go to the top one. We do the bottom, top, then middle. So at the top we're going to take a good 7-8 inches from the top, pinch the bead, little swivel and the other bead. We slide, just wrap another little coil crimp around there, push that down. The insect same again, we leave a little bit of a gap, just so the swivel rotates nicely. And we're Wrap that around, 
And then what we do is find our two parts. That's equal length from the bottom and the top. And this is at the bottom end. I'm going to slide it down another 8 inches, 9 inches. Fair length to there. That's our mark. Slide these ones back up the line. couple more yeah just pop into a couple more coil crimps just along exactly the same again leave a little bit of a gap if you were using this with six ounce leads and beach fishing with it I'd much more prefer and recommend to you to be using 60 pound line 10 pound per ounce of lead what you're using I'm only going to be using a maximum of four ounces of lead and I won't be whacking it, just a very simple overhead cast. But snood, I'm using clear amnesia, 12 pound line. We start on the bottom snood. We do a half blood knot, exactly the same as we always do. About seven to eight turns. So back through the loop, a little bit spare, pull that nice and tight and with these rigs I tend to leave it like that's about an inch and a half tag end, I'm going to leave that and take from the bottom possibly a good four and a half foot off the bottom snood, snip there, the middle So the same knot again, half blood knot, seven to eight turns around, and a little bit of spit to slide the knot down. Nice and neat and tidy, nice and simple. And same with that, there's about an inch and a half left. Now let's slide from the shot leader towards the base where the lead's going to sit with the line along my fingers and just get in front of the top coil crimp there or crimps if you're using crimps and snip and go to the top part of the rig and we do the last snood same again six to seven there are seven to eight turns, half blood knot. And a little bit of spit just to slide it through. And the same with that knot, it's about an inch and a half left, but I'm leaving it. So we grab from the top and the shot leader, slide our fingers down. It's quite a longer one, this, until we reach. To the top part of the coil crimp, we snip again. And then for the hooks, from flounder fishing, I'm going to be using a size 2 Camazan. You could go larger, you could go up to a 1A, you could go smaller, you could go down to a 6, but I find a size 2 is going to be plenty big enough. Sort of standard size of a flounder around here is about 12 ounces, so. 12 ounces to a pound of standard fish, good stamp of fish. And these hooks are perfect sort of size for that. So with this knot, I'm just doing a half blood knot again, leave a decent size tag end and snip that off. The size tag end what I want is really about a centimetre. Make sure your knot's nice and tight, it's not going to slip out. Get the hook out of your way. Middle, exactly the same, size twos all the way along. If you're scratching during like February sort of time, you'd be going to scaling down to about size fours and you'd be using a mixture of baits, but 
This is sort of length rigs, what you really want to be using, just to cover more ground. Covers a lot more ground, more chance of finding a fish. It's perfect. And exactly the same for the top snood. Half blood knot, seven to eight turns, and you're finished. Give a bit of a tag end. Always be careful with hooks. Maybe about half a centimetre. That's how to tie a one down, two up, match style sort of rig. It's going to do us really well for um, flounder fishing. And if you'd like to see how we get on with this, just click on the video that's just about to come up and you see this rig in action. Well, Gavin's got me into my first flounder of the year as well, and it's a cracking little flounder. 36, 36 centimetres and £1.3. Take me up right down. Quite happy, we've had a couple of different species today. 